I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, we'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device, 
We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants, stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Ugh. Bitter? No. At least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Light is... it's peeling off. Dead skin. Is that how it spreads? Ugh. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I don't know about these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. Sorry, I had to check something out. You were saying something before I left? Find anything good? What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um... It's an AI. It's, um... It's hard to explain. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. By the goddess. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission... The, uh, message I found. Didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. The people will get sick, too. Starve. We're not gonna let that happen. So, um... What happened after I left my room? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Down this way. Have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. 
We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. I'm ready. Okay, concentrate. Another one's coming. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Another ladder. Need to shoot. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, got it. Lenora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. Yeah, found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extra. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? I should be able to open. I guess they want us to check in with them. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh. What's that stench? The entire camp. Wiped out. They must have come here to Dell for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. came through here, brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. Hmm. 
My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine. Could help fix the gears. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. There. A uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. Better than I thought. What's this? Huh. What's this thing for? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dahlgaard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. <laughs> proceed into the auditorium. Wow, that works. That pull caster's useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. <laughs> okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. There you go, Varl. Thanks. push the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The serious system. There we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? 
error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. The wilds have really grown over this place. Creepy ruin we go. Above us. What is that thing? You might have been able to kill this officer. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. <laughs> up here. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. Huh. I should scan it what first. Check its patrol path. Distracted. Stick up and strike. Just have to wait for the right one. Gotcha. Mine down too. More of those machines ahead. Nothing new I can't handle. Ready whenever you want to strike. I wasn't expecting that.
I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. The Osra must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. Dismantled it. And not blow yourself and up. More supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Over here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. Keep going, then. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. Storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Looks like we've got to climb up. We won't be going that way. This place is 
really falling apart. Well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, bro. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Borl. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that must be the machine. It's heading in the same direction we're going. Great. Those machines. I could try with a new weapon on it. Oh, we are 
Thomason Delvers. And a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Looks like we can cross over here. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. What's in here? through the wall. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, 
she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. They slaughtered all those Osirum. We'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement, convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy? Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the shuttle, figure out how to make it fall into the basin. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. There. That ladder can get me up to the tower.
Made it. Easy. That was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. I won't be able to make that jump. But there is a cave. Ah. Well, I want to build it up. This place is barely holding together. Oh. Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. I bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Machines in my way. Console might be in there. those machines down below. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how to get up the tower? This 
Scanning with my focus could help here. Where's the other connector?
It broke free! I gotta take this thing down fast! That may be fast ammo. I'm gonna look if I find something I can use around here. Data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the Blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay, I should find the server room. <laughs> 